This is Gary Whitgriff. I've been a certified crop advisor for over 25 years and have published two books on prosal millet. As a professional agronomist, I've realized crops like winter wheat, prosal millet, and a legume like soybeans or field peas should be in a synchronized rotation to minimize weed, insect, and disease pressure. Each rotational crop should be planted at different times to mess up the pest cycles. Winter wheat can be fall planted into prosal millet stubble. Prosal millet should be planted in warm soils, allowing weeds to be killed immediately before planting. Nitrogen producing legumes, like soybeans and field peas, help maximize nutrient availability and can be planted at cool spring temperatures. All three crops can be planted without tillage to minimize input costs and maximize yields, especially when moisture is limited. Drought hardy prosal millet as a feed grain is roughly equivalent to corn in livestock, poultry, and ethanol production. For years, hundreds of thousands of acres of prosal are rotated with hard red winter wheat in the semi-arid areas of the western plains like Colorado, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Eastern Washington, Oregon, and Idaho could follow soft red winter wheat with prosal millet. Prosal millet can be double cropped after hard red winter wheat in areas like oh, central Kansas and Missouri and after soft red winter wheat in the southern corn belt. When winter wheat kills or is severely damaged by hail, prosal millet is a good economic alternative to produce grain for fall harvest. Even historically, prosal millet has been planted in the northern U.S. like North Dakota and all the way up into central and southern prairie provinces of Canada in a rotation with spring wheat. Prosum millet has low input costs, certainly lower than wheat, corn, and soybeans. Grain farmers, livestock, and poultry and ethanol producers should consider prosum millet in their area planted after wheat, followed by soybeans or field peas, and then back to wheat. They make a great rotation. More on millet at relatingtoancients.com. Search the internet. Enter Whitgriff Millet.